In most of my mercury vapor videos, you've seen 175 watt yard blasters. This time we're going to do a 100 watt flood. Going to plug it in, ready, and fire. Yep, there are those purple flashes and then the steady, dim, blue-green. So it's hard to see when it first starts up inside the arc tube, it's just a dim cloud and then it'll slowly concentrate itself into a thin but really bright stripe of blue-green light. And as with the 175s, it gets brighter and greener. Is the clear bulb in there. I opened it up so you can see a little better. One thing that I like about mercury vapor fixtures is the noticeable high color contrast. So my facial features really stand out. So if you're doing black and white photography or video, these are really good at helping make every feature stand out. And so that you can positively identify a person from way down the block it's a lot easier to do that. And plus, green is the color that the human eye sees the best, so... Visibility, driving under these, is pretty good. I'm surprised they don't use them much anymore. Usually just for yard lights and scientific purposes now. Though, so I think they should start again. Yep, and as you can see, it's starting to warm up a little more. The cloud in the center of the arc tube is starting to focus into a thin stripe, although the camera's running out of time, so enjoy this startup and demonstration. 100 watt MV flood, latest.